Hey, Ross Rag Metals here. Quick teardown of some high voltage switches. These are the ones you get out of microwaves. They're pretty common. You can see they're quite shiny. Quite small and they're valuable. These ones happen to be broken. As you can hear, there's no click on the switch. And there are some precious metal components within. These are quite simple to open. So be very quick tear down. There's the inside and all the components. See that there? That tiny contact. Try and move that a bit closer in the screen view. Oops, sorry about that. There we go. Here. That's silver. And the rest is a zinc alloy, probably with zinc and copper mixed in. Let's extract the rest of it. There we go. Not much to these things, as you can see. There's all the components. So let's have a quick look. Try and get a close up. There we go. And this part here, this tiny little disc there, very thin as you can see, is made of silver, as I said, with copper underneath it. That's pure copper there, that pure copper wafer. And some zinc alloy. These are inside of most microwaves, are quite common, and these switches cost about £4 each, if they're functional that is. This one was broken, had some defects within it, snapped bits of metal that is. So, very quick data, microwave switches, high voltage ones. The reason they use silver in these is because it's extremely high in conductivity and also corrosion resistant. And as I said, these are for high voltage applications. Type for use it opening oven doors. You can see the rating up on there, 125 volts AC. So high voltage switching. Good for silver and copper recovery. Well, till the next micro scrapping tear done.